Hello. Welcome to my French kitchen today. How exciting is this? It's exciting for me too because, um, you know, maybe we can come to France once a year. Um, and I've always wanted to do something like this, but it doesn't always quite work out how, how I have it planned. So, um, sorry for the delay. We took a bit longer during some sightseeing today. And also for the fact that it is incredibly hot here in Bordeaux. Um, I believe um, it was 104 yesterday and today is just a mere 95. Um, so I know that in Michigan we get those days and we just want to burrow into our, our um, you know, central air condition, right? So we're fortunate we do have air condition in our apartment, so we're hanging out today um, after a trip to the market and some different things that we did. So, so if it's a little rough around the edges, I had to stop at a flea market and buy some, some little dishes for what I wanted to show you today. Um, so I'll apologize for that in advance, but I think it's going to be really fun anyway. So we're going to make a dish that is a little more suited for winter time, but, um, but I think for us cooking here and the ingredients that I needed, it was perfect uh, for today. So it is a tart filet. And tart filet is basically potatoes, um, some sort of bacon, um, a little bit of liquid and, and gooey cheese. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I did was I sauteed some uh, shallots in butter. So I sliced them thin and um, fried them in some butter. I've added um, some water to it and I had picked up some um, chicken bouillon. So that's what I'm going to use as my liquid. Um, so I'm going to add that to the water and let it heat up. And then also, I found this really leaves. I'm going to throw one of those in to, to season it up a little bit. And, um, and then I've sliced up my potatoes fairly thin. Um, since I have just small dishes, um, I'm going to make just maybe the two dishes. I might have enough for another. Um, oh, sorry. Poor wireless connection. Uh, just in case John and I are really hungry, um, then we could um, have another. Otherwise, maybe our Airbnb host will take our, our third dish, right? So I'm going to go ahead and parboil my potatoes just for a few minutes. Um, you don't have to do this, um, but I know that in the past it always has worked just a little bit better if I um, boil them. Uh, since they're such thin slices, only maybe five minutes, that's all you need. Um, so I'm going to throw those in really quick. I put in my one bay leaf, um, and I'm also going to add to mine, um, I just have to decide on, so Airbnbs are always, um, sorry, if, the, if I black out for a moment, it's because the wireless is not as great as it should be. So today I could not pass up all of this fresh herbs and flowers at the market. They were just really beautiful. Um, and so we're taking um, the train to see our daughter in London um, on Friday. So we're going, I'm going to take these with me. So I think they'll be okay in the refrigerator till then. So I'm gonna add to mine, I've added the bay leaf to the boiling water. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary to this. And then I'm going to do, um, before I put them in the oven, I also bought a bundle of chervil. It's a little bit hard to find in Michigan, um, but it's kind of a tender um, sort of anise-like. It's like this. It's really, but it's very nice for salads, and it goes very well with potatoes and eggs especially. So we'll put this on just the top. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, and season my potatoes um, with some salt and pepper as well. And okay, sorry, the cheese that I would use in Michigan uh, from the Boulevard Market would be Taleggio, which is an Italian um, cheese very similar to the French Reblochon. Um, this is not sold in the United States any longer. Um, because it's always only raw milk, and you can see it's very soft and gooey, and it's very stinky. 
um, our apartment has been quite aromatic, let me tell you. Um, so what you'll do with the telejo and or the Revolution would be, we're just going to slice it up and we're going to basically layer um, some of the potatoes. We're going to put in, I chose not to do bacon. Instead, I bought um, some little bit thicker sliced prosciutto. So I'm gonna slice up a piece of this and we're gonna layer the prosciutto, the potatoes, and the cheese. <clears throat> you wanna end up with cheese. Um, so you can just have a few bits. <clears throat> So for us today, we are not using um, a whole slice of meat. I just don't need it. So what I did is cut it into some matchbook type slices here. So let me see if this gives you a little bit better view. Move some of my things here. So I am simply gonna stir up my potatoes. I put in an extra dash of pepper. Don't you love using a, a new, new containers, right? We get so used to cooking a certain way. Okay. So I've got a few, I layered the bottom potatoes. Oh, let's see if they'll come out. They're pretty slippery. So this is maybe only an inch or so full of potatoes. I'll put a few slices of the prosciutto in. I'm going to fill it back up with potatoes. And then I'm going to layer the cheese on, put the cheese on top. You can totally put the cheese in the middle if you like, but you really don't have to. It's quite soft. It'll go through the whole bit. You can put whatever herbs that you like in. If you like thyme or um, or something of that nature, I would. Um, you could do that or the rosemary, something that's a little bit hearty to stand up to the meat and cheese. Okay. So. This is all ready to go. Chives are also a really good option, but I just didn't see any today or else I would have used that. Okay, so you also want to add, um, at home, you could do white wine, you could do cream, you could do, um, this is chicken stock, whatever you like. You're also gonna wanna add a bit of that to keep it all kind of juicy and nice, okay? So I don't really have enough potatoes to do much with this, but I don't want to lose those onions. So I think I'm just going to make it a little bit heaping here and hope for the best, right? Hopefully we don't smoke the place out. Okay. So this is going to be beautiful tart fluff. All right. So, on your cheese, sorry, I lost you there. So, on the cheese, you can do have one of two options. The telejo is this way as well. It's very stinky cheese with the rind on the outside. So, you could cut that off and just use the inside. Um, if you want it to be a little bit more traditional, you just cut it all up and um, it makes it for very lots of flavor. Now, um, I'm hoping that I have some uh, foil to put on these because I think it's a little bit nicer with foil. Um, and so we're going to put them in the oven and then I will send you a picture um, when they're all set. Um, so there you have it. That is a French tart fillet. Oh, I needed my little bits of herbs on here. I think that'll freshen it up, the chervil. So this is what it'll look like before it's all baked. And, um, and these only take, since I parboiled the potatoes, they're not going to take very long in the oven. Um, and plus these are small pots, only maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So basically you want it to be all nice and gooey. Um, and then, then you'll want to remove the foil, sorry, it's a bad connection. Um, before it's finished, just so it can kind of brown up a little bit. I always like to have it be a little bit brown and bubbly. So that's what we're having for, for supper tonight. And I picked up a little French melon that's beautiful. So my, the rest of my prosciutto will be wrapped around our melon slices. Um, I'll show you all the good things I got at the market because I think you'll be just like so excited about it. 
Um, we picked up some figs, um, fresh figs that are ready. Um, some really nice pâtés and cheeses. Um, this was one of the most, personally, I think this was one of the most fun things I've gotten was a box full of edible flowers. Um, so all of our things will be garnished tonight and I think I have some um, nice lettuce for a salad. And um, so we're gonna want some flowers on those. Um, so that's gonna be dinner tonight in France. Um, so thank you for joining me so much and I will post a picture of the tart fillet when it's finished and um, and any other pictures that we have. I have some really other fun things that we've been trying and, um, and I, that I think that you'll like and that translate well to making in your American kitchen, in my American kitchen as well. Uh, tomorrow we head to the Loire Valley. Um, so it's um, um, where the Cointreau, the, the liqueur, the orange liqueur Cointreau is made. And um, also the Rosé d'Anjou. Um, so that'll be exciting and we're looking forward to that. And, uh, and then we head to, um, to England to visit with our daughter. So there's lots more cooking opportunities. Um, if this is something that you liked and liked sharing with me, by all means, uh, let me know and we can do another little quick one and, um, and have some fun with it. So, so I hope that, that this was fun. It was super fun for me. Thank you so much for, um, for, um, you know, uh, what do I want to say? Maybe humoring me, right? Um, I hope you grab a glass of wine later and make this uh, in your own kitchen. Oh, sorry, the market's not open until tomorrow, but there'll be plenty of telejo there. Um, in the meantime, uh, it'll give you something for the weekend to look forward to, right? So, cheers from Bordeaux, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.